Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I am at Tractor Supply picking up a utility gate for a DIY project in my backyard. The link to this gate is in my video description below. Please go ahead, you can check it out now and do all your shopping from that link and uh, you'll stay tuned for this whole process as we go about installing this gate. All right, I'm here with the gate. It is in my backyard now and I'll kind of walk you through what I hope to do with it, but it is leaning up against my deck and we're gonna try to fence in the backyard. So the gate will have a chain around this post with my deck railing and come all the way over to here to the neighbor's fence. I got this massive six by six by eight that I'm gonna set into the ground. And then I might have a little bit of an awkward area between where the post goes and their fence line. Um, so I'm gonna have to get creative, probably end up using some of this temporary fence I have to kind of make the last, you know, eight inches or a foot secure too. So then my whole backyard can be contained for dogs. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do to set up the correct distance to dig my post is I'm going to attach this gate wheel. I picked this up from Tractor Supply as well. It was very affordable. I want to help alleviate the weight of this gate on my post. So I went ahead and bought one of these and it's just like the picture here. You can see I went ahead and attached it. They actually give you brackets as well if your tube is less than an inch and seven eighths right here. So you can see how it just attaches on right here. You got those brackets if it's a smaller tube or you won't need them. Here's the wheel, really nice, really cool. Just two bolts, easy peasy right there. Got both of them tightened down right there, just a half inch nut so really happy with that now i'm gonna go ahead and try to lay out where i gotta dig my hole all right the next step you can see here i used a post hole digger i dug 36 inches down actually 37 inches you can see the pile of dirt there i tentatively stuck the six by six by eight into the ground now just trying to eyeball and see how the gate will look and work with this and see if i can make it work so obviously that's going to mount in there like this and that'll go right in there so trying to figure out and just play with do I like it that sort of thing so that's kind of what's next is just trying to get it all set up how I want here's the other side right here trying to keep this gap as close as possible um, you may have seen in a video earlier I have a wheel on there um, I took it off because it's just too much of a gap so I'm trusting that if I since I dug it so far down and have such a massive post that this gate won't sag all right guys, so again, to recap, the six by six by eight is 37, roughly 36, 37, 38 or so inches into the ground. I poured two bags of concrete, so I had an 80 pound bag and a 60 pound bag, filled it all the way up to the top, you can see there, added my water, so it's all set now, ready to just wait for it to cure, and hopefully it'll be super duper strong to lift up the whole gate and support it. So again, it took me a long time to go back and forth here and try to uh, figure out exactly you know where i want the gate to be in the gapping so i originally thought i was going to put a wheel on but in the end the wheel produced too big of a gap and we got some dogs so it was best to not have the gap so i'm really hoping that the 36 inch depth here in this massive six by six by eight will be sturdy enough to support the 60 pound gate right here i mean it's made of tube so it's not too heavy again it's 60 pounds so i'll be curious to see over time will that work what sort of supports or additional structure will i need or do i have to uh use the wheel in the end so we're going to let that post cure now then we'll come back and show you how to mount the rest of the utility gate so i also want to add the post is pretty level i'm pretty happy with it i'll show you right here too you can see the bubble is pretty close to in the center and then the same goes for this side as well all right guys i'm back here a couple days later you can see the post is still set in the ground it's been really cold the last couple of days so hopefully everything is settling uh, just fine down there for the concrete so you can see i've been toying back and forth with trying to get the gate level and be at a place that I'm happy with. So I believe I have it correctly now right here. You can see that's pretty level. So I'm pretty happy with that. So the next step is gonna be finding the center of this column, this post right here, and then lining it up with this and the mounting adapter to make sure I have 
the best spot to line this with that so it actually looks like this when we're all done getting the mounts installed so I marked right there just to get a reference point same thing down here I pushed the gate all the way to and you can see I made a mark at the top and the bottom I'm just gonna try to get this close and then worst case what's really nice is you can just go ahead and unattach this to get it the rest of the way so I'm just gonna try to get um, the hinge as close as I can to that spot and then you'll be able to compensate for any sort of errors and measurements or just not being too exact by rearranging these clamps right there so that's really nice so the next step is going to be measure the center and then we'll go ahead and drill so you can see I've marked right where I want to drill right there and right there I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top one first see how that goes get it installed and then I'll adjust again for the bottom one all right so I got a half inch drill bit right here you can see this will be plenty long to go that length I'm actually gonna mark the length on the bit too so I know when to stop I got a level here hopefully I'll be able to try to keep that level because that'll dictate you know how this goes in the post as well so yeah now we'll go ahead and we'll start drilling that top hole got the first hole drilled right now so we can go ahead and install this right in there so I'm just using some simple leverage use that wrench to twist that in twisted the first one and now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can set the gate on it all right gate fits perfectly on it right there which is really nice now we're to go ahead and finish up the bottom one just drilled the second one now we'll go ahead and see if we can get that attached the same way got the second one in as well a lot harder to do being so close to the ground just use my wrench again there's the first one now we'll go ahead and add the gate to it all right guys so in the end I actually turn this one uh, counterclockwise one full rotation to get it a little further out so it can align with that one I did not have to adjust these at all which is really nice I was able to get it to work just with my rough measurements you can see it right there and then that one's even on the hinge perfectly too so that's really really cool really happy with it i don't know what this is maybe somebody watching can see only one of mine had it so i just left it on there maybe i can kind of work its way up there maybe that acts as some sort of seal or something but uh yeah really really impressed you can see it right there and then you can see it on this side now it can move perfectly all right guys well there it is i am really really happy with how it looks does a great job i got gravel right here and i hung it just guessing with those blocks of wood the perfect amount so it scrapes just a little bit right here because the elevation in my driveway is completely different so that's awesome that does not bother me i really wanted the gate to be really close to the ground right there so really excited with it it looks really good really nice post is doing really well too in the ground so really really happy with it you can buy this gate from tractor supply the link will be in my video description below it'll take you right to their website where you can do their shopping i also um, ended up returning it but i bought a caster wheel as well that just bolts right onto the tube in that corner i was really nervous about the weight of this gate but i ended up getting that six by six by eight and i actually put it like 37 inches down into the ground so i believe that's going to hold long term but that wheel is a great option if you don't want to buy that big of a support dig that deep or you know using double gates whatever you got they have a really nice wheel right here i just returned it because it was making this gap way too big between my deck stairs and the gate and i got a dog over there and then we're watching another dog so um, trying to make my backyard a little more dog proof so the, that wheel unfortunately wouldn't work for smaller dogs it would give you know a five or six inch gap that they'd be able to get out so now i'm really happy uh, everything looks great this is an awesome gate and you can see the dogs are already checking it out as well and doug's trying to peek through the little spot that i have to work on putting some fence in so yeah really really happy with it really awesome guys the link to this is in my video description below um, thank you again so much for being here hit that like button hit that sub button and feel free to ask me any questions. Hopefully I covered everything for you. I love my Black & Decker drill as well, too. I reviewed a couple of the attachments with it, that Matrix setup. So thank you guys for being here. Um, feel free to check out my other videos. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my newsletter online as well on my website. So thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing you around the channel.